Hey guys, this is Matt Gibson on with our fifth iPhone programming tutorial. So before I even get started with this tutorial, some people have told me in the past that my wallpaper is annoying because it changes so much. So in this tutorial, it's not going to be changing. It's going to be the same the whole tutorial. So I'm just mentioning that. Anyway, I'm going to create a new Xcode project. And we're going to not make it a view-based application, but a navigation-based application. Because in the previous tutorials, and I believe in tutorial 3, I taught you multiple view controllers. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a list application, where when you click something, something else happens. We're going to be making a sort of like a sofa catalog, where you'll have a list of different sofas, and you click one to see a picture of it. And I have these pictures right here. Um, so now if we go into my project, you can see it already does a lot of stuff here. I'll just give you a look at some of the stuff it does for us. Um, and if you run it, it'll already be a fully functioning application with a list already there, and it will even have a title at the top, as you can see in the list. And um, yeah, so we're going to set up in our .h a new type of variable, and this is going to be an NS array, and I'll call it sofas. And what an NS array is, it's basically a type of variable that contains different other types of variables. So we can now, in viewed load, have our array of sofas contain a bunch of different objects for different sofas. So let's say sofas equals NS array alloc init with objects. And we'll say, how about R no, I'm just making this up. Retro, how about bed? And how about standard? And we can now uh, look, and we also have to add nil at the end of this list, because sofas, the way you set up an NS array with objects is you say NS array alloc, init with objects, you give it a list of your objects, objects separated by commas, and then you have nil at the end, and that's how you set up your array. Now, if we look back in our .h, you can see that this is not a UI view controller. It's a UI table view controller which is a UI view controller but has responsibilities to it. You have to tell the table view how many rows are in each section, and there's one section. And so there are going to be four, obviously, because that's the number of sofas we have. So we're going to return sofas count, and that'll return the amount of things in sofas. Now we set it up with these four things, R, no, retro, bed, and standard. So that's going to that's gonna be how it knows that there are four things. And then right under here is where we have to set up the cell for each index path, which has the row in the section. And so we're going to say cell.txt equals sofas, object at index, index path dot row. And the row of an index path, it's going to be 0, 1, 2, or 3, um, is the place that we're getting the text for. Um, so anyway, we set up the text of the cell. And now if we run this, you know, we only had to change like two or three lines of code. Now if we run this, it's going to have a list right here. And if you click something, nothing's going to happen. So the next step we're going to take is we're going to make a new view controller. And this is going to be sofa view controller. And it's going to have an image for each sofa. So now we're going to make it show a new sofa view controller when they click something. Let's go down here. And let's show the view controller almost the same way we'd show it in a, in a view-based application. We're going to allocate it. We're going to init with nib name. We're going to set up its nib name to be this. And the bundle is going to be nil. And we're going to say self.navigation controller push SVC animated. Sure, why not? SVC release now. That's just for memory management. And here we're going to say SVC set title. Um, and we're going to set it to sofas, object, and index, index path, dot row. This is just to customize each one. And we're also going to have to do that to the main thing in a minute. And just like, as you can see here, just like in regular view-based applications, we have to import this. So let's go into our dot .h, where I like to import things. Let's import this. So now, you should watch tutorial 3, if you haven't already, to learn about this stuff with the view controllers. I already went over a lot of it. So now, if I click this, it shows a new view. Normally, you'd expect a back button. But what that back button normally says is the title of the last screen you were on. 
And if we review, let me just run this again. If we review the app, when it opens up, there's no title. So in view did load, we're going to set the title of the main screen to be something. So we're going to say self set title here, set title uh, sofas. And now if we run this, you'll see here it says sofas. We click somewhere, it brings this up. You can go back, go to standard, go back. Yeah. And so now there's one last thing we have to do. We have to work with the images. So for sofa view controller, we're going to say ID outlet, UI image view, and we're going to say ID. And let's set this up. And what we're going to do basically is make it dynamic, sort of. So it will. So it will uh, change uh, when they click different things. So we set it up with Interface Builder. Now let's set up a UI image. MG. We're going to make an Objective C method on this called in Sofa View Controller.h called Set Main Image. And we're going to have a UI image. IMG. This is just like an ID action. It's just slightly different. And we can go into the .m implement this. And here we're going to say img release img equals underscore img retain and don't worry about the retain and release but what this is doing is we're gonna call this before we show the view to set the image and here in view did load I'm gonna say iv set image to img alright makes sense and now here we're going to say we're gonna actually set up our images so let's Go here, drag in these images, just to our resources. And now let's say if index path dot row equals equals zero, then we'll say SVC set main image, UI image, image name. And I believe Arno was the first one. So Arno sofa dot JPEG. I don't know what Arno means. Uh, I just sort of found that on the internet. So anyway, now let's do else blah else blah else blah. All right, and we're gonna set up all the different images here. We'll set up retro. Set up the sofa bed and standard. And now, hopefully this will work. Um, let's go ahead and test it out. So we click Arno, gives us a sofa. Click bad gives us a different sofa, etc. And it's a bunch of different sofas. Now let's make it not stretch by going into this XIB. Click there and say aspect fit instead of scale to fit for a UI image view, just to make that simpler and to make it not stretch the sofas. So when we click there, it's good. There, it's good. And yeah, we basically have a bunch of different sofas. Um, so anyway, this is how to make a simple. Uh, navigation based application so uh, if you like this tutorial check out our other ones or subscribe um, anyway thanks for watching Mac Kids 101 subscribe and goodbye